Monday, August 1st. Where does time go? I'm beginning to think that there is some legitimacy to this idea that either time is speeding up or our days are getting shorter. I don't know which. It couldn't be because the fact that all of us are getting older. Um, but I digress. So I thought I'd start out this morning with just kind of look at the surface map and see what's going on. Uh, so we can actually see, well, all right, we got a big low pressure system here. Um, another one here. We can see this coming off Africa, which by the way, they're telling the residents of Europe that they need to prepare for um, red rain, red dust in the atmosphere coming off of the Sahara. So uh, there you go. If you see strange red dust in Europe, they're telling you it's coming from Africa. So let's just go up here to the 250 millibars and let's see what we got. Well, here's this huge, you can see it, it actually shows up all the way down to the surface. Um, and you can actually see how the winds are moving in each of these storms here. But look at this. I thought this was interesting that the jet stream in the southern hemisphere is actually breached the equator. And that's what it's done here. I mean, I don't care what you tell me. It is breached the equator. And look what's happening here. Now, we've seen this now for nearly two weeks, this continual flow uh, right off the East Coast, coming through the Gulf of Mexico, going across right there in Mexico and right down. And if it was just that one, it'd be fine. Look what's happened here. We've seen this. Now you can actually see this ridge line that has formed where we've seen this uh, off uh, the coast of Africa. But let's go over here to the Indian Ocean. And look at that. I mean, you have a very broken up northern jet stream coming in here. This, by the way, you see it just comes here and down she goes. So I see three crossovers. And again, just this continual flow, this we've talked about it. So we'll just continue to watch. Um, I think we now know that there is a correlation between the devastation of the weather, not only in India, not only in China, uh, but over the weekend, as you are all aware of the tragedy that took place there in Maryland. Um, we can see all of this as a result of what's taking place here. We just need to be aware. By the way, I did want to also um, point out something um, to you as well. So let's go to the temperature and let's go down to the surface. I want to show you something real quick. So, uh, tell you what, let me just go to the, um, here we go. So I want you to see this. So this is the current surface temperature. Right? So this is summertime, about 9.5 Celsius. But I want to show you something. Look what's happening up here, the North Pole. Look at this, folks. And if you go right over here, I mean, that's um, a real difference. So there is some interesting happenings here. If you go into Greenland, of course, you know, that is to be expected. Um, I don't know, minus 13 C. I think that's getting down to about four or five degrees, if I'm correct. 
I just wanted to show this to you. There is something happening up here, folks. It's really getting cold. I got a report over the weekend that they're seeing um, ice begin to build up really early this time of year. But also get this. I mean, you don't have to go that far and you see uh, 22.6 degrees Celsius. I think it's about 34 degrees. So just be aware. Also, thank you, NOAA and NASA. Um, we have the real-time solar wind map. Uh, I'd encourage you to uh, put this on your bookmarks. Uh, this will be a great tool. We can see right now that we're expecting that coronal mass ejection to be hitting the Earth. Um, along with the coronal hole stream coming in right behind it, or it looks like the two may be coming in at the same time. So it may get a little bumpy. Uh, we can see here in the phi angle that it may be hitting right now. Um, and we're seeing a real drop here. So yeah, yeah. So uh, just something to think about. Great tool. I'll put the link underneath. And folks, uh, let's just keep our eyes to the sky. All right, thanks.